a friend of mine, Roger Urians, who's living next door. One day he comes with me, he says, listen, look at this. There's a surfboard with a sail on it, man. Get one in the state. Got a call a few weeks later, hey, come over. I got one of those windsurfers. Roger came, we're at my house, we're opening this thing, looking at it, putting it together the way the brochure shows. And start learning with no instructions or anything. We had no one that knew how to do this stuff. So we kept on trying and trying. And this is how we still manage to learn how to windsurf. It was the beach lifestyle. It was that lifestyle that we were finally found, we gripped and we got. You become addicted to the, to the freedom, the speed, nature. Being completely free as an individual. What you feel is that you do not feel any resistance anymore. Any chance I would be, I would be on the water. We used to look a lot at what they were doing in Maui and then try to do the things here. We were doing it day and night. In the weekends, it was all the way to nighttime. The sun is down, we're not, they can't get us in. If you jumped and you had a lot of airtime, that was already nice. And nowadays, these young kids, they do moves that we didn't even imagine in those days. Um, I was nine at the time, so I wasn't really strong enough to pull up the sail, so I didn't really like it. And I kind of stopped maybe a few weeks after. But then one year after, in 2001, we had the Aruba High Winds. It was so relaxed, all the smiling faces on the water. It just motivated me to start again. My mom helped me to, with signing me up to compete at the Bonaire Gata. I met all the Bonarian guys there and they're all so relaxed in the water. Since then I'm hooked to windsurfing. You cannot start right now and in a month achieve the greatest moves. It takes years of practicing. The hardest part is when you start falling in the water, you gotta try to motivate yourself back to get back in the game. No matter where you start, you keep dreaming, you believe in it, you can achieve it. Sarakita is the example for that. The discipline to keep on training, to do these hours, to achieve what she has achieved, and to have achieved that at this age, it is a world-class performance. Every time I go practicing, I make sure, I always have a mind on competition. I want to make sure that the old moves that I can already do, that I can land them consistently. And on top of that, I just practice harder and new moves. A competition is a very grueling type of activity to be in. When the horn goes and you have a few minutes to do all your moves and then pull them off and not fall, that is very, very difficult. When I go in a competition, I don't go with the mindset that, hey, I'm world champion, I'm the best. I'm just another competitor against the other ones. And I just go out there and do my best. If I happen to win, then it's pretty awesome. You wanted to become local champion. Then you look further. If you're competing, you want to go and become the best. Cold steel discipline to do that and you got to be super motivated not losing one heat you got to be on but this one specifically is the world champion there is no one on this planet better than her well the achievement of sarakita is of course uh, amazing I mean, she is the true example uh, of what all the kids need to follow sarakita for us is like a unicorn We should recognize that, we should put her on a podium for the children of Aruba to see and when they notice how much of a hero she is, that they will emulate her behavior. Well, I love to see kids on the water, it's super cool to see them smiling when they're sailing and enjoying themselves. They're coming to the beach practicing a sport, they're developing social skills because you meet so many people here at the beach and it's just another way to, to keep them busy. A lot of women think that it's a, it's a man's sport and that you have to be really strong to do it. But nowadays, you don't need to be strong. The equipment has been modified through the years. It's super light, so it's really easy to handle. The fight at first was becoming world champion. The challenge was to stay there, and that's the hardest part. Nobody wants to see you in first place. They're all fighting for that spot. 
At first it was just trying to prove yourself to people, but now it doesn't, you don't have to prove yourself. I just want to go out there on the water and show, yeah, show what, show what I got. <laughs> Over the years I would like to win a slalom world champion title. Hopefully I can keep my freestyle title for many more years and maybe even go for a wave title. Everybody wants to be successful, but in their own way. Maybe it sounds cheesy, but maybe later help make a difference, difference in the world, or maybe a difference in a, on Aruba. She dreams. They, no one ever broke her dream. Here you have a Sarakita that is number one, I mean, you know, in, in freestyle. She exemplifies everything. She exemplifies the balance uh, that you get, the spiritualness, uh, the beaches, the wind, the ocean. I mean, this is what we sell as an island. She is now the idol, she is the hero, she is the role model of a lot of people. And look at how young she is. It's incredible, it's great. We should cherish this. We should really champion this person.